toward the weekend. Yeah, you know what? We're seeing a few windward showers ramp up tonight. Uh, some of them occasionally heavy. We're going to have more on that in just a bit. But meet Felicia and meet soon to be born Guillermo, not officially a system yet, but just still an area of disturbed weather. Most of the systems that we've seen so far this year have kind of hugged the Mexico coastline. These two are a little bit different, um, but they are still very far away. I need to emphasize that these are uh, roughly anywhere from 2,700 to 3,300 miles away from the state. So a lot can happen in that time. And both are expected to become hurricanes, but still far from the state. For example, Tropical Storm Felicia uh, is expected to become a Category 2 in the coming days. In fact, it's going to become a Category 1 probably within the next 12 hours. But by Monday afternoon, 2 p.m., it's barely a Category 1 system. If it does cross over the Central Pacific, it will most likely be a tropical storm. That being said, the track, highly confident with that track. A lot of the forecast models keep it moving almost due west. And if you were to trust the long-term forecast, they keep it south of the islands, moving innocently just south of the state and not being a factor. Guillermo uh, may cruise a little bit more northerly, but break apart, we might see some storm remnants. That is if the forecast models are correct that far out. We're talking a week and a half. We're talking almost two weeks out. So something to keep in mind. I'll keep you posted uh, on the web, also using the KHON2 mobile app, and of course, every newscast. Tonight, a wet night tonight, but we have the natural Hawaiian AC pumped around medium. Northeast winds at nine miles per hour. Uh, those winds, by the way, will peak during the heat of the afternoon at roughly 25 miles per hour in the coming days as well, even in through next week. As far as showers go, it's all windward, some of them spilling leeward, and what we see pop up in the afternoon. That being said, right now, look at all of these showers that are moving through the islands right now. So a fairly wet night, possibly one of the wettest nights of the week so far, especially for Kauai, where the winds are a little bit northeasterly, so we're seeing some showers all the way up through Kilauea and just north of Anahola, Kapa'a, Lihue, and down south through Poipu. Similar situation along the Ko'olau Mountains, even making it to Waianae at times, and some isolated showers for Maui, as well as the Big Island with occasional heavy rains moving through the Hilo area.